Oh man. I love that ending there. So good. So good. I like it. Whatever. It's all right. <laughs> uh, hi, everybody, and welcome uh, to another episode of the Tom Lavelle Show. I hope we're doing well. Um, that was Jumper by Third Eye Blind, released in 1998 on the Third Eye Blind album. Um, debuted at number 16 on the top 100 charts in December of 98, peaked at number five, the end of January 99, and uh, stayed uh, for 20 weeks on the chats. So it's a good song. But uh, thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you've been liking what I've been doing so far. This week, I uh, started posting a little bit more um, food content, cooking content on the uh, the Tiki Talk, as my bro calls it, on the Tiki Talk on TikTok. Where, um, if you're not following me on TikTok, it's at the Tom Lavelle Show, just uh, just like my YouTuber, and I will be putting it on a podcast platform soon. When I don't know. But it's going to happen, and you'll be able to listen to my beautiful voice while you're driving around or working out or trying to block out a significant other, whatever it is you're doing. <laughs> Drown out your kid's voice, whatever it is you're doing, trying to get a laugh. You can listen to me ramble on about whatever it is. If I talk about I got to start watching my language. I got to watch my language. Apparently, it affects my views on the Tiki Talk. And I don't know. I guess I kind of want more people to listen to me. Um, so let's get to some comments. Some comments from this week. <clears throat> Comment number one from Stephen Dietz. Dude, where do I know you from? Dietz. I don't know if you're being sarcastic or what, but. I might be the greatest bartender you've ever met, you know, that worked at an Applebee's. <laughs> Piece of shit. You should remember me, hopefully, I guess. Everyone should remember me, what my ego's telling me. But Dietz, uh, thanks for the comment. I hope you're doing well, buddy. Um, oh, I got a great thing from Dietz that you used to do. When you used to say, like, because he was uh, at dental school and – when all the dental students would come in the bar after, I guess, a big exam or, you know, long week, whatever. And a couple of the dental students were hooking up. And so he had a great one where if they were hooking up, he'd be like, you know, them. <laughs> <laughs> so I always liked that. Deets. Um, my next comment is from Jamie Dell, 36. Um, commenting on my coach Tom video and she says uh, Tom have a beer before the game not a terrible idea um, I haven't been drinking and you know what I'm feeling good and this is crazy talk I know this is crazy but I don't know man I feel good like sometimes my health like or how I feel like trumps having that fun and like relaxing with a drink you know because if i feel like shit i don't like that like and i feel i'm feeling pretty good but i'm gonna get into that a little bit later also the games are at 9 a.m have i had drinks before 9 a.m sure of course of course i have so i wouldn't mind being well there are 5 30 games too there's a couple 5 30 p.m games so maybe i'll uh Get a little sauce before the one and be like the bad news bears coach. All right. Um, as I said before, I am posting more videos about cooking, and that's because I've been trying to eat healthy lately. It's getting warmer out, and I feel like every time like it gets warmer out this time of year, I'm always starting to eat more greens, more um, healthy food, more you know, diet stuff, I guess, trying to like cut a couple LBs before I have to stand at a pool with my pasty white body and, uh, you know, 
look like a flabby POS. Um, so I got a comment from Reese William 11. Clean living. That's right. Clean living. Just like all the cool kids are now these days. Like my bro says, he says all the kids these days, it's so popular to eat clean, to eat healthy, to eat, you know, which I said was a load of crap. You know, kids, uh, they may be more informed on what is and isn't healthy now, but um, I think they're still going to choose the junk, bro, majority. But clean living, Reese William, 11. Thank you. I love you. Thank you for the comment. My final comment. This is kind of why I chose the song today, Jumper. So, at, like, in fitting in with my um, eating healthy, I've been trying to work out a little bit more. Now, I work out, you know, every week. I play soccer for championships. No big deal. Um, just a guy, just a normal guy, like, you know normal person, like whomever's listening, normal, you know, whatever you want to call yourself. I'm just like you. Do I have four soccer championships? Sure. Uh, was I a big part of them? Yeah. Does that get into my ego? Do I think I'm better than anybody? Of course not. Except for the teams that I've played and beaten. I'm better than them. <laughs> <laughs> but so, yeah. I do go to uh, a planet of fitness, fitness, planet fitness. And uh, the reason I go there is because I don't lift heavy weights anymore. You know, I am still pretty, bam, pretty jacked. Oh, ow. Pretty, uh, I, you know, I, I just go there, I do some cardio. I do lift a little bit of weights, core, whatever. Then I get the fuck out. But uh, I've, I heard this before and I've talked to people about it before and I never really thought about it, but like, did you know that you are not allowed to jump rope at planet fitness? It's against the rules. You may think, no, Tom, that's crazy. Why wouldn't you be allowed to jump rope? And from multiple people I've heard now, they came with a jump rope and just thought, all right, I'm going to jump a little rope over here in the corner of the gym, like by myself. And the people working there came up to them and asked them to stop. And I thought to myself, like, that's, that's kind of ridiculous. Like, don't you think it's ridiculous? I think it's a little bit ridiculous. Like why, why the jumper? And so, you know, I asked planet fitness and I reached out to them and uh, I got a response, a comment it says, hi there. This is just a safety. Pre pre <sighs> hi there. This is just a safety precaution. We regret any disappointment, but appreciate your feedback. Haley. I mean, it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Like what, like safety, what do you, what needs to be done with a jump rope to like, that's safer than any other thing. At gym? Is a jump rope less safe than a treadmill or dumbbells or i don't know machines like the 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 racks you know the smith machine i mean they got 45 pound plates you can put a bunch on either side and stand up and down you that that's not more dangerous <laughs> planet fitness does not like jump ropes i don't you know i don't understand i don't know why i I don't necessarily care. Would I jump rope at Planet Fitness? Yeah, sure. I'm actually an excellent jump roper. I uh, wrestled my whole life, and jumping rope is a great way to uh, lose weight, get your little speed burst up, you know, and uh, work out. It's a great workout. I would jump rope. I never tried. I never thought about it. I never brought one to the gym, but... You know, they're not allowed to do that. So then I wrote back, like, there must be more to this than just a safety precaution. Uh, obviously, there's, you know, anyone, like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, this can't be the real answer. Like, why, like, why exactly is jump ropes not allowed? Like, why jump ropes and, you know, not treadmills or whatever? And then I got another response. 
Unfortunately, jump ropes are not allowed as someone could be walking by and accidentally get hit by the jump rope in motion. Trust us, that does not feel good at all. Renee. So not Haley this time. This time it's Renee. And yeah, clearly, if you're not paying attention to what like your surroundings, you could get hurt in any like there's an infinite number of ways you could get hurt anywhere. I could walk up and put my hand underneath someone that's dropping a dumbbell and crush my hand. They I put, could stand near them while they're doing something. They could hit me. You know what I mean? Someone could be on a treadmill running full speed and I could walk by and accidentally put my foot on there and fall and they could fall and they land on top of me and the treadmill's hitting me. Like anything could happen. I have a simple solution. Just put a like, tape off a little section you know maybe you need eight feet eight feet by like five feet put it in a corner right so the person then is looking out the wall is here there's a wall behind me and then i got space here on the side no one can come up from behind me i'm jumping my rope in the corner you know you could you could put in two and it would probably solve your problem i don't think you even need to one and while someone's not using it, use it for whatever you want. I just don't understand. Like, what, like, Planet Fitness, what are you so worried about with the jump ropes? You know, like, someone's going to come next thing you know, everyone's going to be jumping rope. And like, did something happen to someone? Like, I, is the, is, you know, something, it, it has to be insurance. It has to be an insurance issue. issue. Somebody must have sued for something. And they just nixed it. And they're not telling me the full story. Like, ouch, it hurts. You get hit. Like, did someone lose an eye? Did someone, you know, get tripped up and fall and break a neck? <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> Walking to a Planet Fitness with a jump rope. Sir, um, what are you doing? Um, going to jump rope. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> You're not allowed to jump rope in here. You're not allowed to jump rope in here. Are you trying to kill everyone? <laughs> Sir, please. Put the jump rope down. <laughs> sir, sir, sir. Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump, sir. Sir. <laughs> sir, please stop. There are children here. <laughs> We've got a problem. Ugh. So, yeah, jump rope, uh, no jump rope at Planet Fitness. You know, it's crazy. I don't get it. Next thing you know, everyone's going to be jumping rope. And next thing you know, everyone's walking behind. And you're going to have someone jumping rope and hurt them, you know? <laughs> oh, man. What's the problem? Sir, step away from the rope, please. Sir, sir, no. Don't you, don't you, don't you jump that rope. Sir, stop. Stop. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. <laughs> you don't, it doesn't have to be like this. Listen, put the rope down. We can talk. Okay, you don't have to jump rope in here. Sir, sure, he's got a child. <laughs> Come on, man. Let me go. I don't, I don't, uh, I've got kids. I need to get out of here. Please. This is going nowhere. God, it's good, though. I was cracking up the other day thinking about this. The fucking jump rope. But it's going nowhere. Why can't you jump rope at Planet Fitness? It's it's so ridiculous. It's so fucking ridiculous. It just real quick, tape off a spot, tape off a spot, wall here, wall here. You get an eight foot by five foot section and you can jump rope and you can get a, a, a nice workout like you're allowed to eat fucking pizza at Planet Fitness. You know what I mean? I went in there and they were giving out bagels one day. I saw a lady doing Taekwondo. Like like full on taekwondo like what you know what i mean I, people do some crazy fucking shit at planet fitness but god forbid someone wants to pull out a jump rope and jump it <laughs> you know what i mean 
It's ridiculous. Why, Planet Fitness? I want the real answer. I don't want this bull. Someone could get hurt. Someone could get hurt doing anything in your gym. It, like, you could get hurt and you could slip on something. You could trip over something if you're not paying attention. Anyone could get hurt. You're allowed to do whatever you want in Planet Fitness except jump rope. I don't get it. I'll never get it. Maybe I will. Send me a message, Planet Fitness. I want to know why I can't jump rope. And I don't even want to. I feel like I should bring one in, though. I feel like I should bring one in and, like, just have it there. You know? But that, <laughs> I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump. Sir, don't you jump. Don't jump. Sir, sir, don't jump. <laughs> we got a hostage situation here. We've got someone in here with a jump rope. We don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> sir step away from the rope put the rope down <laughs> you don't have to do this it doesn't have to be this way we want everyone to go home safely okay we want everyone to get home to their loved ones put the jump rope down <laughs> put down the rope <laughs> come on man come on man you don't got to do this man you don't have to do this just 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 give me the jump rope give me the rope all right give me the rope <laughs> we got a jump rope situation at the planet fitness they have like drills <laughs> all right if someone walks in with a jump rope what's the first thing you do Call the cops. <laughs> yes. What's the second thing you do? Try to take away the jump rope. No, no. They have the jump rope. You let them go until the cops get here. Your safety is first. Okay. Don't go anywhere near that jump rope. Who knows what could happen? You want to go home to your family? That's what's more important. You want to walk out of this planet fitness? Go nowhere near that jump rope. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> you know I just don't get it uh, so yeah jumping rope either way I think uh, I might be making a drastic change in my diet I know it's crazy oh, look at me you think how could it get any better right <laughs> <laughs> how could it get any better well i'm gonna see i'm gonna try guys look i'm feeling good i haven't been drinking right i feel good i feel good i feel healthy i feel uh i don't know my aches and pains have kind of you know they're they're not as they're not there as much i don't know they're not there as much so my aches and pains are kind of going away right I feel like I have a little bit more energy. Um, I've lost some LBs. Now, I haven't been drinking. I've been eating a little bit cleaner. But this last, I want to say, four or five days, like really clean. So low, no, low to no carbs, grass-fed everything, free-range shit, which is more expensive course but everything's so fucking expensive all the food is so expensive it's unbelievable how expensive food is now it's unbelievable and i think we all know who we can blame for that one huh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah i'm going to grass-fed and uh like you know, but I'm starting to think about this kind of carnivore diet, dude. And I think I'm going to start, I think I'm going to eat liver. I've never had liver a day in my life, liver, but it's supposed to be good. And I'm not trying to be like, I'm not some like liver king junkie. I've seen him, whatever the guy's Jack, but I don't know what his deal is. There's another guy I've seen that's saying the same thing. It's like a fruit and meat diet. That's it. Fruit and meat. So I'm trying to do a little bit of research on it. Now I'm doing like all free range, all, 
you know, grass fed, all natural, like everything has to be, you know, clean, right? And uh, yeah, I'm doing that. But I think I'm going to make liver. I think I'm going to eat liver and see if it works. You know, like if I'm feeling better, guys, if it makes me feel better, then I'm going to do it. And I'll report to you. Oh, also, I'm eating cleaner. I've been working out like still, you know, steadily kind of working out. My aches and pains are gone. I'm not drinking. Um, I do these like ginger shots every day, like a bunch of ginger that's been like juiced. I do ginger shots every morning and like a smoothie. That's kind of how I start. And I'm feeling okay. You know, I've lost a couple pounds, which is good. Um, You know, I don't think I'll ever get like six pack abs again. I used to have them. I used to, but that's been, it's been a while. I don't think I'll ever get there again. Um, I don't know why I really care if I do. It's not like it matters, but you know, you want to look your best, right? So um, yeah, I'm thinking about switching to this, like more meat, more uh, fruits and, um, and that's going to include organs. You know, I got to be eating, got to be eating organs, (laughs) but like apparently liver is like the best thing for you. I'd never made it. I don't even know how to make it. I don't know how to eat it. I don't want to really eat it like raw. I don't know how they eat it, but I'm going to try it guys. I'm going to try it. I'm going to get back to you. And that's what this is all about. I'm like the little Guinea pig, you know, let's see how it works on top. You know what I mean? And that's fine with me. I'll try it out and I'll let you know. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Uh, I'm going to jump rope a little bit more, see if it helps get me stronger, make me feel better, make me look better, whatever. And uh, I will get back to you on that. So that's going to that's gonna do it for this week's episode of the Tom Lavelle Show. Got a lot more stuff to cover coming up. Um hope you like the stuff i ramble about please like and leave a comment if you do anything you want me to talk about anything you think's interesting comment about it and i will respond um as always i appreciate you listening um and i love you i love you i love you i love you this is tom lavelle and peace